Yo what's going on YouTube, you're all very welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys basically if you buy an RGH and stuff you're going to be looking or a JTAG you're going to be needing to install a program called XEX Menu and I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be making a series on my channel basically showing you guys how to get started with your JTAG, how to bring your JTAGs online, how to get Xbox Live Stealth and everything like that but for the first part of this video, I'm just going to show you guys that I just wiped everything off my JTAG and I'm going to show you guys exactly, um, like, just to show you exactly the way your console will be if you purchase an RGH or a JTAG. Sometimes they include XCX menu and sometimes they just come fresh. So, as you can see, you can see me there talking with the blue snowball. Um, I actually don't have my HD PVR plugged in, so just bear with me a second. I'm just gonna pop that right in there. USB. And I'm just gonna plug that in. So we're just gonna look a fucking mess. I've been sick for the last fucking eight, about a week, I'd say. So I'm just gonna click refresh on this. And we're gonna flick down to the HD PBR one. Right. So just bear with me a second. So hopefully this pops up. I am recording on 720. Okay, guys. So I'm just gonna make this bigger. As you can see, we just go into our system and go to our storage. As you can see, it says Hutchie's JTAG, uh, 51.1 gigabyte free. There's not on this. There's absolutely nothing, as you can see. So what we are going to do is we're going to install XEX menu. So I'm just going to X out of this, uh, just to prove to you guys that I have nothing on that console. And what you want to do is you want to go and get, um, you want to download this program here one minute um, I have I think I have it do I XCX menu uh, whatever you do guys I I did make a video but I didn't actually upload it this file here made me get the E71 error and I couldn't fix it because I was a corrupt plugin loading my hard drive every time I boot up the, the, the JTAG up and if you have a faulty plugin like a corrupt plugin on your uh, console uh, with dash launch it actually gives you e74 or e71 errors so that can go boy boy because you're not making me wipe my whole hard drive again Um, I will make another video guys just in case some of you do ever get faulty plugins like corrupt plugins and it gives you errors I will show you how to wipe your hard drives so uh, this is the program you're going to need to download and as a code 99 um, just extract the folder okay that's all you need to do now what you need to do is you need to get a USB flash drive okay any flash drive will do so I have a 2 gigabyte flash drive right here I'm gonna plug out the HD PVR because I only have three USB slots I have a blue snowball and an external USB mouse plugged into one because my trackpad do not work so what you want to do is you want to actually um, you actually need to set it up the Xbox I think um, yeah, we need to actually go on to the JTAG itself and pop this in and you want to make it as um, an Xbox 360 device so you want to go to your storage, you want to go to USB, you want to go to configure now I know you guys can actually see this on the screen but you know how to do it anyway I presume if you use flash drives or anything like that you will know how to do it so you, you just want to watch this PC utilities oh fuck off I think I actually have a virus on this computer right now <laughs> cancel will it go away I don't want you running I'm, I'm uninstalling that in a minute holy shit there's not even one virus on my computer and that's a fact so um right so once you're done all you want to do is you want to pop out the little USB flash drive that you have plugged into your computer or your JTAG sorry and um, I want this to fuck off my computer I'm sorry for my language guys so what you want to do then is you just want to go to horizon now there's a new version of horizon out and I will have the link in the description for horizon all you want to do is you want to open horizon so horizon will take a minute to open so there we go and I actually like the new kind of thing that has horizon it's actually Delhi this is my first time actually using this program on um, the new version actually it's still the same outlook layout and stuff but all you want to do guys is you want to come here you get a code 99 and you just want to drag and drop this in I think you can drag and drop can you 
yeah you can so it says XCX menu 1.2 what you want to do is click save to flash drive and just give it a minute guys and as you can see it's doing its thing down the bottom of the screen here so it will take like a few seconds just to copy because it is actually like a game you know you play it as if it was a game um, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the flash drive and then we're going to actually put it onto our hard drive so every time that we boot up our JTAG with our hard drive we're going to have XCX menu installed and basically what XCX menu is is like a thing that you can install stuff on that like you have a cache for updates you have your basic all your games and stuff goes onto XCX menu you can install freestyle lash 3 but I personally don't really like freestyle lash I like my normal dashboard it's up to yourself so as you see it says the following packages were successfully transferred to the flash drive you just want to hit ok then all you need to do is just exit out of this close and all you want to do then is just go down and click this button click on the icon here and just click inject save to remove and all you want to do then guys is come on to your JTAG and I'm just going to plug in the HD PVR and um, cable right here and I'm going to go to the capture module and I'm going to go to capture and I'm going to show you guys basically the JTAG so I'm just going to go and pop in the USB right about now so I'm just popping that USB in there come on go in right so it should bring up the storage device now all you guys need to do is go to your memory unit go to demos you should have XCX menu you want to copy or sorry you want to move it it's going to ask you to sign in. I don't actually have a profile, so I'm going to create a profile and I'm going to call it and um, put it on my hard drive actually and just call it JTAG. Um, I'm just going to shit. Oh my god, that was a fail. Hit the wrong button. So just hit create profile. I'm just going to leave a player one. Uh, yeah, player one creating profile. Just pick uh, done. Now all you need to do is click move move it to your hard drive and it's going to move to your hard drive and just to prove to you guys that I actually am on a JTAG I am actually going to load up XCX menu and just show you basically the interface of the new XCX menu you can change your skins and stuff it's pretty cool so all you need to do then is just go to your games and go to my games and as you can see XCX menu we're going to launch it do 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 and I'm gonna show you guys some pretty sick skins so as you can see we have not in an XCX menu we have our USB you can change our skins to something like um, I think it's marijuana and stuff like that so you just wanna go to your hard drive and it's gonna restart XCX menu okay so as you can see there we go we have like a weed plant and stuff like that it's pretty sick you know but I don't personally I don't really like that skin I like the but um, the Mario one, this is one of the Mario ones that I actually really, really love. I think it's sick. Do 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 do. Um, it's not this one, is it? But uh, I like this one as well. You know, I actually do. There's a load of ones here you could actually pick from. You could pick Bob Marley if you're a Bob Marley fan like myself. You can pick Bob Marley, and I think that one is class. You know, so um. Yeah, guys. If you guys actually uh, are new to XCX menu, all you need to do is just press X, go to your hard drive, and you'll have like a cache. You'll have a content. I always intend to create a new folder and just call that folder like um, games, because this is where you're gonna put all your games and stuff like that. And I will show you guys. My disk tray is actually broken. This, but with a JTAG or an RGH console, you don't actually need the disk tray. All you guys need is the JTAG itself and a program. And I'm going to show you guys how to copy games over to your JTAGs um, using FTP. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video on how to get XCX menu. And in my next video, I will show you guys how to copy a game over to your JTAG using FTP. And I really hope I've helped. If I have helped, please don't forget to drop the like on the video and leave a comment. It really helps me out. If you guys would like me actually to bring this JTAG online and host lobbies, please note now that lobbies ain't going to be free. But if you are a subscriber, you will get a 50% discount. So the lobby will be $5 through PayPal. Payments from PayPal only. I will actually accept Amazon gift cards as well if you guys have no PayPal account. So... Um, if you are not a subscriber, the lobbies will be $10 PayPal. If you are a subscriber, the lobbies will be $5.
dollars paypal and that's any cod if you guys would like ghosts and um, recoveries i think i might actually charge ten dollars for them because like it's only a new game but any other cod if, uh, except from ghosts will be just five dollars okay guys so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed and peace out bye bye